What up guys? This is Brady from Pathmaker Productions. This is a short video about refilling the transmission fluid on your Nissan Pathfinder, your Nissan Hardbody, your Nissan Frontier, Frontier, your Nissan Xterra. Now, why does it require a video to uh, do that? Well, you need special transmission fluid and you need to overfill the transmission. So stay tuned and let me uh, learn you a couple things. So I see a ton of guys on the internet always complaining, asking about hard shifting in their uh, V6 Nissan Pathfinder and Nissan hard bodies. And why is that? This is old technology in the uh, transmissions of these things. And they have brass synchros. And if you use any kind of GL5 fluid, they uh, have a high sulfur content and you're gonna eat those brass synchros up. So if you're here because it's shifting hard in your Nissan Pathfinder, you need to run GL4 fluid, which is a low sulfur content and won't eat your brass synchros. Problem with that is uh, there's not very many options. Redline, MT90 is the go-to. Now I'm not affiliated with these guys in any way, shape or form. Be sweet if I was. They just make good stuff. So we're gonna help you out today in changing the transmission fluid. We're not gonna be changing the fluid on this Pathfinder or on that Pathfinder, we're gonna change the transmission fluid on this Pathfinder, the old Nissan Pathmaker. And why is that? Well, this stuff costs $37 a liter in Maple Leafs. So that's almost 30 bucks US per liter. And you need just shy of five of them. <clears throat> the other two Nissans aren't worth it. This one is. One of the other reasons why I wanted to show you guys about this is if you've got a pre-96 five-speed Nissan Pathfinder, like this one, uh, well, in Nissan's infinite wisdom, they put the fill hole too low on the transmission. Uh, if you go to 96 and up, then you're okay. But if you're one of these older models, you actually need to overfill the transmission by a full liter of cola, which means you got to take off the shift boot, pour it in the top. So let's, uh, Get this fluid drained out, and then we'll uh, take this top apart, fill this bad boy up. Now I know things look a little different than your stock Nissan Pathfinder under here, but what we're doing is all the same. So if you've ever encountered one of these uh, square bolts, well, that's literally just a half inch extension on your uh, ratchet. And we'll uh, crack this bad boy, drain this fluid. We got just about five liters of fluid in here. So uh, make sure you got a pan big enough for that. Woo, now we got a little bit of metal in there. There's a magnet on this plug and, uh, well, if you ever watch me wheel, we know that uh, I'm a little hard on my stuff. So we're gonna, we're not gonna worry about that. Woo! Considering it's been more than a decade since I looked into this thing, that's uh, not so bad, really. No, I obviously don't have any carpet in this thing, but most of you probably will. And the way to get into this uh, shift boot is the carpet tucks up underneath here. So you just pull the carpet back and then you're gonna undo with a 10 mil or a Phillips head, the bolts that hold this ring on. Now, caution, because this ring is really, really sharp. Ask me how I know, I've cut myself on it multiple times. So take that ring off, then we're gonna take the shift knob off and then we can take this whole boot assembly out of there and we're almost in. There's seven bolts holding this ring down. Of course, because I'm me, there's literally only a single one actually doing anything. And look at my really nice wet wiring job. You don't need to worry about wiring. Something else I see mentioned all the time is how to take off your Nissan shift knob. This is an aftermarket one. Uh, stock ones are the same thing though. They just get put on with a little bit of Loctite. So just twist them off. If you're struggling, twist harder. Because uh, all it is is a spine shaft in there. This one comes off. Never buy a uh, metal shift knob. It's really cold winter time. Now we just uh, pull this dust shield back. Now there's just a uh, couple of C-clips. And then this shifter comes right out. Now thankfully, you don't even actually need special, special C-clip pliers. All you need is a pair of uh, pointy needle nose. Before you begin, drop it in neutral because it's uh, a lot easier to get the shifter back in when you're in neutral. All right, 
that's literally all it takes to uh, get this thing out of the way. Time to pour some of that expensive goop down this hole. Make sure that you uh, put your drain plug back in, but this will get real expensive real fast. The capacity of the trans in the, these old, this is an 87, is a 3.8 liters is where the fill hole is and you need to overfill it by a liter. So we're gonna put 4.8 liters of fluid in this thing. So one gallon and one uh, quart be what you need. And even if you don't have to overfill it, it's still easier, honestly, to uh, fill it through the top than it is to fill it through the uh, hole in the side of the transmission. It's really hard to get in there. So uh, I prefer this, even if you don't have to overfill it. All right, now we're just gonna put it back together. There you go. That's all there is to uh, changing the transmission fluid on a uh, WD21 Nissan Pathfinder, D21 hard body, uh, Nissan Extra, uh, Nissan Frontier, and uh, what fluid you want to use to get the most life out of your uh, Pathfinder transmission. Now, I'm harder on my transmission than most, so if the uh, MT90 works for me, it's definitely gonna work for you. Well, around here, that means there's only one less Last thing to do is take this thing for a test drive. But that'll be uh, the next wheeling video. So stay tuned for the next wheeling video on the channel and uh, get out there. Put some more transmission fluid in your Nissan Pathfinder. Cheers, boys.